Good morning, Faithful. How you doing? Well, it's a terrific Tuesday, a great day to be alive in the Lord, sharing the good news. Say it, say it. You right about that. Yes, and as news, as you say, we can use because it transcends time and circumstance. Amen. And with news, we can use Tennessee Valley. Get ready for Pastor Mark Barrow, aired here every day, right here at WDJL. Bring you what the Lord says. Take away, Pastor. All right, indeed. Delighted to be sharing the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ because good news causes hope to arise in our heart, to cause anticipation and expectation to arise in our hearts. And when we let that hope reign in our hearts and we take hold of that hope, that hope, the faith then becomes the substance of things hoped for, the very evidence of things not seen. And so then it's so important for us to mix faith in the good news of what God has done for us in the Lord Jesus Christ. And whenever you and I do, it's time because all that Father God has invested in the Lord Jesus Christ to give to us, to make us, to provide for us, comes alive in our lives when we mix faith in his finished work. Do you not know when Christ cried out on the cross, it is finished, that literally he was saying our plan of redemption, the atonement for our salvation was complete and accomplished, but he continued on having been delivered up for our offenses, raised again for our justification, according to Romans chapter four and verse 25. That Father God raised him up, made us to sit together in heavenly places with him, that he might continually reveal himself into and through us day by day, moment by moment. And as such, friend, as we embrace the grace of God that is in the Lord Jesus Christ, we have an attitude and a mentality that we can do all things through him who strengthens us. And that our God supplies all our need uh, uh, according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So we become fully empowered and fully supplied as we embrace what Christ, what Christ has done for us moment by moment, day by day. And so then there is never a hopeless situation because the one who stood at the tomb of Lazarus in John chapter 11, when his friend Lazarus had died and his sisters Martha and, and Mary were distraught, having sent for him while Lazarus was let living and in, in ill and had drawn ill, they had sent for Jesus as he was in another place. And he did not come immediately. He had every intention to come. But he continued what he was doing. And then he said to his disciples, let us go and wake a Lazarus. You see, Jesus knew what was afoot. He knew what was going on. Mary and Martha didn't know. And poor Lazarus, he, he certainly didn't know. Uh, but Jesus knew. Isn't it awesome to have a king, a lord, a savior, a high priest, a friend who knows what time it is, who knows what's going on? and that it is never too late because as he began to come and talk to them about the resurrection, they said, well, we know in that last day, in that day, we, he will rise again. We'll see him again. And Jesus looked at him and he said, and made a statement for the ages that he looks us in our eyes and says the same thing. Did you not know that I am the resurrection? You see, what we think is past, what we think is late, what we think is delayed to some future point. When he is on the scene, he is the power to make the difference in that moment because all power in heaven and earth, he got up in Matthew chapter 28 and verse 18 and 19 and says, are in my hand. Wow, how awesome that is that the one that we follow has all power in his hands. And he declared himself in John chapter 10 
to be the good shepherd, the one who lays his life down for the sheep. That's you and me, y'all, the one who follow him, the one who he watches over and looks out for. Today, friend, what we want you to do is simply this, whatever is in front of you, just as Jesus told him, he said, take me to where you have laid his body. Where have you laid down your expectation, your hope, your dream, your vision? There, if you'll take Jesus there, you will find resurrection and you'll see it's time, just as he commanded Lazarus to come forth. So your vision, your dream, your health, your children, your well-being, your business springs forth as you allow him the resurrecting power to bring alive what you put your faith in him to do. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every day. As God's word is declared, his love presented. And together with the difference, it makes a difference as we awaken his purpose of knowing him and his love for us, mobilize his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this terrific Tuesday, faithful. Well, all right, Pastor, I want you to know I'm following you and I'm claiming the word of God. Amen, amen. This We're morning, I am following you and I'm <laughs> claiming it right now. Victory yeah. is ours. That's it. Victory today <laughs> is ours. <laughs> well, all right. Talking to you bright and early in the morning with Reverend Peter in the house. Yes, sir. Blessings. Yes, ma'am. We have your <laughs> blessings on you and the gospel explosions, family, what you do for us every single day. All right. Have a great day on purpose now. Yes, ma'am. Bye bye now. Bye bye. All right. Hey, let's go in the strength and ability of the Almighty God. Let's look for our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection, to bring life to every situation, every circumstance, uh, whatever it may be that's in front of you, the opportunity before you, the temptation, trial, test of your faith, where things seem past, lost, know that he is the most high that he is the King of Kings and he's the Lord of Lords and everything bows the knee to the name of Jesus. Call his name today and watch him bring life to you and to your situation. Have a great day. Talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.